Jack from WineCraze.com, and this is Chris behind the camera, which you can't see. And we're here today to test whether or not these bags actually work before you put one in your luggage. As you can see, the bag is rigid on the outside, a thick film, and then on the inside, it's lined with bubble wrap. The idea is that you can put a bottle or two of wine, if you don't want to ship them, if you're going away for a weekend, if you find a bottle of wine on a weekend that you want to bring home, or if you want to take one with you, you slip it in the bag, seal it up, and it's not supposed to leak even if it breaks. First of all, it's not supposed to break. Second of all, it's not supposed to leak. Those are the two things we're going to test today in a fairly simple, rudimentary test. Uh, we're going to start by taking a bottle of wine and sliding it into the bag. As you can see, right at the top, there's double stick tape on either side of the handles. And that's what seals it together. And even if it breaks, keeps the bottle, keeps the liquid inside the bag so it's not all over your clothing. So start by sliding the bottle in, bottom first. Get it all the way to the bottom so we can make sure we seal the top correctly. And now we need to peel off both sides of the double stick tape. Making sure, well it certainly is easy to use thus far. So now we have the double stick tape right, surfaces right on top of each other. Now we want to make sure we get a good seal, so I'm going to rub it really hard on a flat surface to make sure it seals. Okay, it's all sealed. Good, now let's put it in the luggage. We're going to simulate the fact that you've got clothing in your bag and other things by using some big towels to kind of absorb and swaddle the uh, wine. Now, let's seal it up and go see if we can break it. To make sure the test is fair, we filled out the luggage with extra towels to make sure it simulates a fully packed overnight or weekend bag. And the bottle is still in there in the bubble wrap, so let's zip it up. Now we'll see if the bag can actually take the kind of shock that you actually get flying somewhere on a plane and using commercial baggage service. So here we go. ever been behind the scenes at a commercial airport, baggy channeling is exactly like this and worse. Okay, now let's see how the bag held up. Absolutely perfect. No breakage, no leaks. Now we need to test the other half of our of the bottle bag's test, which is if it does break, does it leak into your luggage? Uh, since it didn't break, we're going to have to give it an assist. It is officially broken now. And let's put a bag on it, or a, bu a bucket under it. And we're getting some leakage. Very little leakage, but some leakage that would get on your clothing. So there you have it. Our relatively simple test proved that the bottle bag, the bubble bag, works well uh, at, for its intended purpose of not preventing breakage to the bottle. However, it does not work well when it does not work well for its claim that any spill will be contained. Um, if it was me, I'd use it for throwing bottles of wine in a bag to take on a weekend trip where I'm driving, but I don't know that I'd try it in a plane. There's just too much downside, not that much upside, and I might be better ahead just shipping the wine home. 
So here it is from Wine Craze. Thanks a lot. We'll see you next time.